Welcome to PCB Artist. In this, the fourth video of Series 1, we will be continuing our schematic. At this point, we need to add a connector. We will use the Add Component tab of the Interaction Bar to add it. First, change the active library to the connector library. We will be using the 5WPHDR component. Place the component in the schematic. It is most likely orientated the wrong way. Press the F key on your keyboard to flip it. Now we will add the connections. Rather than use power and ground symbols on the op-amp power gate, we will use a different method for defining those power nets. Now let's delete the two excess power and ground symbols. Push the delete key on your keyboard to delete them. Now let's zoom to the extents of the design and see how it looks. Let's center it a bit in the document frame. Now the power gate connections of the op amp need to be put on the proper power and ground nets. Select the connection to pin 4 of U1. Then right click and go to change net. Select the correct net from the list. That net has already been created by the other sub circuits connected to that power symbol. Put it on the minus 15 volt net. Perform the same edit to the connection to pin 7 of U1. This should be on the plus 15 volt net. A generic net name is assigned automatically when any connection is made. These are the N00 net names. Connection is determined by the net name only. Anything with the same net name will be connected whether there's a connection line or not. Now is a good time to review the list of nets and make any needed edits. This is done from Settings Nets in the main menu. All the nets have a net class. This determines what via and track sizes, or styles, are used on that net for routing. All nets are signal class by default. 
All power and ground nets must be changed to power or ground net class to ensure they automatically use the thicker track width. You can also assign a unique color to a particular net. This will help to identify nets at a glance and ensure all subnets are properly connected. It is important to know that an incomplete connection will automatically turn pinkish red, so that color and similar colors should not be used. Dim colors are hard to see in the schematic. It is recommended to use bright colors. We can now easily identify any zero V nets that have not been properly connected. Another way to highlight nets is to use View Highlight Net. This will keep the net highlighted for long periods of time. To remove the highlight, go to View Highlight Net Remove Highlight. Another way to highlight nets is to use the Interaction Bars Go To tab. Change the top drop down of the Go To tab to Net. This allows the designer to quickly highlight each net to visually confirm the nets. Our schematic is now complete and we're ready to translate to PCB. In the next video we'll walk through the new PCB wizard.